All right, guys, I continuously get defeated going against the Puppet Master, but you know what? We're going to try again. Um, I'm not a member. I'm only level 81 or 82, um, but I have read that people have been successful in the 80s against the Puppet Master, so we're going for it. We are going for it. I am Dr. Eric, where I help you be a better math student by learning and watching it and playing Prodigy. Um, all right, uh, my sound doesn't record well on these videos. That's why I have a different sound on the Prodigy. Here we go. Prepare yourself. Well, a couple things I've learned from the message boards is don't attack your own pets when he takes them. And eventually he'll end up missing a lot and we might win. So let's see what happens. All right, it's my turn. According to the message board, Starbit is the best one against him. So we're gonna just have to keep doing Starbit the whole time. All right, so it says, use the drawing tool to fill in the place value chart. So we have 200 plus 220. So we have 200, which is 200, zero tens and zero ones. We have 200, two tens, like this. And then we add going down. So zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus two is two. So we have two tens and we have four hundreds. So all together we have four hundred and twenty, which combines to four hundred twenty. Um, and for those of you who are new to my channel, uh, basically what we end up doing is we take like 30 seconds to go over the math. Okay, that did not work. Um, that you learn math while playing. All right, now we have 920, so that's 900, two tens and zero ones. We're adding 79, which is seven tens and zero ones. Zero plus nine is nine. Seven, add two more, seven, eight, nine, makes a nine again. And nine plus zero is nine. Wow, 999. So nine hundreds, nine tens, and nine ones combines to 999. Okay, so that was a bad spell. Let's try chill out. 178. Not horrible. So now he's taking our pet. Oh, I hate when he does that. Stop! Oh wait, he didn't take our pet. Yes, he did. Right there. Okay, so we know we don't want to do all out attack. All right, so we have 250. We're adding an unknown number and we're trying to get to 850. Well, how do we go from zero to zero? We add zero. How do we go from five to five? We add zero. And how do we go from two to six? Oops, two to eight. We add six. So we have 250. We add 600. We have zero plus zero is zero, five plus zero is five, two plus six is eight. So our work checks, so we're adding in 600. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do. We, well, Starbit is the only one. According to the message boards, keep using Starbit. 246. And then we don't want to do anything by chance because we don't want it to accidentally get our own pet. Okay, so we have 80. We're trying to get to 280. And so it wants to know, how, what do we have to add? Well, if we're at zero and we're going to zero, we don't add anything. If we're at 80 and we're going to 80 still in the tens place, we're not adding any more tens. We have all the tens that we need. But look here, this says we have two hundreds, but there's no hundreds here. So we need to make sure that we add an extra two here. So we have 80 plus 200 is 280. Let me show you another way to do that. This is actually something you're gonna learn in high school. But if you subtract 80 from both sides, 80 minus 80 is zero. And then 200 minus 80 gives you 200. So I think the next couple problems we'll do it the high school algebra way, even though you're only in second grade. 
All right, um, nothing with a chance just because we don't want to attack our own pet. Our pet up. What? No. How is that even possible? He attacked ourselves. Unbelievable. Our own pet attacked ourself. Like completely annihilated our pet. You know what? That's the trick. We need to make sure that our pets are resistant to each other. Okay. It says add 150 plus 100 in expanded form. This is a lot of things we have to take out. So here we have 100. Now we have the five and that five stands for five tens. So this is gonna be 50. This zero stands for zero one. So this is just gonna stay zero. Here we have one in the hundreds place. So that's 100. We have zero in the tens place, so that's zero. We have zero in the ones place, so that that is also zero. Now they want you to add kind of going down. So we have zero plus zero is zero. 50 plus zero is 50. And 100 plus 100 is 200. So when we add all those together, I don't know why they're making things so complicated. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. 2 plus nothing is 2. So our answer is 250. So I think I think that's part of my problem is I am using pets that are powerful against each other. So I think the next time I play, I'm going to have to have pets that are not powerful. All right, so we have 800 already. We have two in the tens place, so that's 20. And then we have one in the ones place. We have 100. Six is in the tens place for 60. And then we have four in the ones place. So adding going down, we have one plus four is five. 20 plus 60 is gonna give us 80. And 800 plus 100 is 900. So all together we have 900s, eight tens for 80 and five ones. Wait, what did I not? Oh, I must have misclicked. That should be a four. Good thing. All right, now it doesn't matter if we use the dice, just simply because there's only one thing we're battling against. Enemy's turn. No! Oh my gosh. Good, I need some restoration. Wish I had my pets, but I'll take what you can give me. Dude. All right, oh my gosh, let's do it. We gotta use all out attack. Finally have access to it, let's use it. 471, we'll take it. Enemy's turn. Good, good resist, good resist. All right, now we're gonna take, the enemy is getting me again? What? What? All right, what is the equivalent addition sentence using the same numbers? So there's something called the commutative property. And what the commutative property of addition says, it says when you're adding two numbers, you can switch the places but it has to be next to the plus sign. So instead of 100 plus 200, we could write 200 plus 100, but it still will equal 300. And that's called the commutative property of addition. And you'll learn more about that probably in middle school. Powerful. I can't believe he added another thousand. That's just unfair gonna keep fighting enemy of course resist resist all right look we have some more math to do so we want to have these numbers add up to 853 
know you're just learning about subtraction, but I kind of want us to do this with subtraction. We don't know what number we need, but we know we'll add 349, and that'll give us 853. So here is a skill you'll learn in sixth grade. If we subtract 349 from both sides of the equal sign, we'll actually get our number. And yes, you can add up, but we're gonna just do it this way. So this X comes down. See how these numbers are opposites? One's positive and we're subtracting the same number. Well, that cancels out to give us zero. And then we just subtract here. In this case, we're gonna have to borrow a 10 so we have four tens left, and then we add these 10 ones over here to make this 13. So we have 13 minus nine is four, four minus four is zero, and eight minus three is five. So this'll be 504. Now, let's do an easier one, 853. I'm just gonna right away go to the subtraction, three, minus one is two, five tens minus four tens is one ten, eight hundreds minus four hundreds is four hundred. So this is 412. Here's another borrowing. We have 853, we're subtracting 626. The issue is that this is only three ones, and we need to borrow six ones. We have to take six ones out. So we're gonna borrow a 10 from the five. So now we have four tens left. That means we have to add 10 here. So 10 plus three is 13. Now we have 13 ones. So we can do 13 ones minus six ones is seven ones. Four tens minus two tens is two tens. Eight hundreds minus six hundreds is two hundreds. All right, finally. All right, Starbet, make it count. Three hundred two. We can we resist it. Ah, we still have seventeen left. Good job. Good job. What? How does he get two spells? All right, this is Dr. Eric with Dr. Prodigy, where you learn math by watching and playing Prodigy. And I got defeated again by the Puppet Master. Ooh, well, at least we got treasures in the treasure track. Let's see what we got. Collect our 100 stars. Awesome, our 100 snowflakes. Very cool. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Bye.